Howdy, howdy, gamers. <clears throat> Happy hump day, Tusk. How you doing, Kinko? All right. So, you know, there's actually a little bit of news today. Just a, just, <coughs> just a wee smidge of news with the uh, Pandemonium event. It's kind of sick. Really glad they're doing this. Yo, how you doing, Mog? With a 10 stream streak. Let's go. It's like TLDR, as you're leveling, you get to do dungeons and raids from Panaland. Which is pretty sick. I don't have LVY on my Druid, but I have it on all my other characters. <clears throat> I also don't have it on PTR, and I've been doing a lot of PTR lately. Yeah, this remix announcement's pretty cool. I'm not too worried about going into all of what these meta gems are and tinker gems. I did like that they said primordial gems, though. So they're taking some of the inspiration from the uh, Ziscara vaults. It's kind of neat. <clears throat> One of this is kind of what they plan the new experience looks like. Some sort of augmented leveling. It's more fun than you could transfer to Rito. Maybe. I think it's more of like... Limited time event to... I, I honestly think that it is something that they're going to do to reintegrate the classic community back into retail. I actually... I don't know. Conspiracy theory here. I don't think that they want to have long-term... Um, like, segmentation of the game. They want to kind of just get everybody back on the golden path, you know? That's my take on it, at least. Uh, last time I checked, the PTR was down. We'll see. I think it's cool. Well, they're also going to have, like, the Darkheart quest line that's going to lead us into the War Within. So, yeah. PTR stuff's offline. Also, way to reuse content as part of their Everything is Evergreen. Yeah. And that's a good thing, too. Yeah, we were just talking about it, Restless. We were just talking about it. I'm pretty hyped for it. The weird thing is that they're doing it with Mop. When you would think that Mop Classic would be around the corner, right? So it does put in the back of my mind of, like, maybe they won't do Mop Classic. And, like, they'll have this instead, you know? First time ever, they're doing what they always, always should have done. Allow you to just sell everything you don't want, even if it's for a small chunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's going to be great, too. Yeah, I really think that, like... At the very least, they're going to, like, make Season of Discovery stuff more like this remix stuff. And try to get everybody sort of, like, back together, you know? Back on track. Yeah, I do, I do think that they want to, like... I mean, obviously, it's an MMO, right? And the MMO is better when everybody's playing the same version of it, right? And so I think the more that the, uh, the game, like, segments, the worse it gets. So... I hope it'll go up today, Dan. I hope it will, man. I, I checked it earlier. If it goes live, feel free to let me know today, and we'll go play it, you know? But until it goes live, uh, I'm going to do my, my our Druid Pug Adventures. I gotta hit 3k before the season ends. I think the mop raids are some of the best ever, especially Sue. I would play the crap out of classic mop. Me too. Me too. It would be, uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. If we don't get to experience the, the whole breadth of it. I will play Cataclassic, though. I am actually very much looking forward to Cataclassic. Yeah. I like that, yeah, the, leveling through the raids seems kind of cool. But you can't do heroic raids until you at max level. Yeah. To do six balance updates, you are 100% right about that. You are 100% right about that. Challenge modes. That feels like it'd be an endgame thing, you know? Because the way that they have it laid out is 
60 to 70, you do Sue, normal. 50 to 70, you do Throne of Thunder, normal. And then at 70, you do the heroic raids, you know? Oh, Siege of Orgrimmar was a great raid, Delenko. It's a great raid. It was such a great raid that I had five bis geared characters throughout Sue, and I was just playing the shit out of it for 14 months, okay? I had a bis geared Rogue first, then Priest, Paladin, Blood DK, and then... <clears throat> And then a hunter. I was playing all all the roles, doing all the things. I was obsessed. I was just fucking obsessed. It was a fun raid. It had actually a lot of unique mechanics. You know, you had Thok the Bloodthirsty, which was the T-Rex that would chase you across the raid, which was a very simple fight. He had Siegecrafter Black Fuse, which was one of the more complex fights at the time. Dodging saw blades, jumping on conveyor belts to kill uh, pieces of machinery before you wipe the raid. Uh, it was just a fun fight. Lots of fun stuff to heal. Absorbs were at their top and this crushed. Uh, you had a fight where you would break open boxes and unlock like little insects and you'd have to kill the insects and stuff. It's pretty fun. How you doing, coffee? <sighs> I mean, Garrosh was sick because he would throw down these like iron stars and you'd go to all these different phases and have to like kill ads and you'd keep on healing and all of that. It'd be great today. Eh. At the very least, I'm excited about experiencing it again. You just, it's just impossible to feel the same thing a second time. And even if I don't have as much fun as I did the first time, that's fine. I'm still experiencing it again, you know? The other thing is, I really, really believe that reusing content like this is like the future of WoW. Like, they straight up cannot make content fast enough at the rate that we consume it. You know? They, they just can't. It's not possible. If it was possible over the 20 years this game has existed, they would have done it. <laughs> right? They would have done it. So, I think reusing this content is great. I, I'm a huge fan of it. I'm a huge fan of them reusing the dungeons to mix things up every M plus season so we're not running the same 8 dungeons or 10 dungeons for, you know... 20, 22 months or something like that, right? Yeah. I think this stuff's fantastic. It may not be the best version, whatever, but, like, I hope they just stick to it. Because there's so many times that, like, if Blizzard commits to doing something, it'll eventually get to a level where it's, like, super fun, you know? They just gotta, they gotta commit, you know? Oh, thanks, Adlock. Yep. By the Dragon Mount with the Bronze? It sounds like that's... The intention, yeah. It very much sounds like that's the intention. Alright, let's see... What we got to cook. Uh, I think I need 22s and up. Also, I don't know if I have an vault or not. I hope we get our farm back. I, I, I have a pretty... I think it's a pretty reasonable assumption that the farm's coming back. Yeah. Uh, Plunderstorm is not cross-region. Uh. I am 2,900. Does Druid break the meta? It's tyrannical weak. This forced me into this mandatory grind for me on my class identity with time running gear and feeding off FOMO. Dude, I can't wait until people bitch and moan about this thing after they literally just asked for like a PvE way to get rewards and stuff. And then they're gonna be like, this isn't what I wanted. Ugh. Sad because it's time limited. <clears throat> Dude, here's the thing. I don't know. Like, get over it. <laughs> in the most respectful way possible. Yes, things are going to be time limited because you need to in instill urgency in people to go do it. Because otherwise, people are like, oh, I'll just get to it whenever I feel like it. And then they won't do it. Or when they try to do it, when they feel like it, nobody else is going to be doing it. Like, that's that's it. That's just how it goes. There's so much other shit going on in, in the game or other games that if you don't time limit something, people just won't do it at all. 
yeah. I get it. I feel for people if they're, like, busy at the time or something. But, like, there's a reason why they do it. <sighs> my tyrannicals are actually better than my fortifieds. Nobody would ever test because they always be there, but because the, they make it time limited, they just won't. Yeah. Gear vendor in Season 4 instead of having to do a dungeon 30 times. Well, we're going to have the booleans to buy... I think it's raid only pieces though. But yeah. Hey man, I'm trying to get my 25 or my 3k. On tank classes like Evoker Mage be able to buy raid chart. Yep. Priest will be too. E. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Problem with new stuff, new dungeons every patch, that stuff's always broken. Yeah, there's advantages and disadvantages. There's always advantages and disadvantages. But like, that's the thing, though, is... Would you rather have well-optimized dungeons ever... But they're the same dungeons through and through? Or would you rather have... Uh, new dungeons, even if there's some, some broken stuff, some bucky stuff, you know. It's, it's definitely annoying. Definitely annoying experience in the broken things, but better than some alternatives. New dungeons with no bugs? Yeah, that exists. <laughs> Get you a pony, too. Woo! Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped for the gold dragon. Because won't the gold dragon also be a uh, dragon riding mount? I think. This is class what have I done? Been doing the Zero to Hero series. Doing the Zero to Hero series and pugging my way to 3K. And Summer. Happy Wednesday. Hey, right, Gex. Happy Wednesday, man. That's the uh, War Within pre-order mount. I think it's like Algarian Storm Rider. Yeah, I think it's like the pre-order or the Epic Edition mount. New addiction, the only cure is more benders. <laughs> oh, dude, I know. I was like, oh, I had to catch myself.
Fresh my holy priest finally takes shadow or death. You just have other abilities that are more valuable to utilize. Like the window where you're going to be able to use shadow or death is pretty low since you get so much of your overall damage from uh, holy fire and like the burning vehemence. And with how many extra chastises that you're getting on hand, those kind of consume most of the globals. And so when you do have some time to fit in the shadow or deaths, they're often not that valuable. Or like, it's not enough to make it worthwhile instead of just taking more defensives or uh, making sure you have like your disease dispel or your leech or whatever, right? So glad I can play different healers now and you don't get the endless did I quit priest comments. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Hey, you bet, Jung. It is pretty nice being able to play a variety. <sighs> we have, what, one more M plus week after this, and then we get... Season 3? It's the 23rd, right? I don't have... Revoker content around Twitch. Yeah, I'm considering doing my... I'm considering doing my druid. Or sorry, I'm considering doing my... Um, evoker for a zero to hero challenge next season. Yeah. Do I not have feasts in this character? I guess not. Five, four, three, two... One. Yeah, so I have two weeks to get it. And Mr. Monk holds up in uh, Siege of Mar Orgrimmar or Throne of Thunder. Yeah, that's what I'm also curious about. Is like, I assume that it's going to be Dragonflay talent trees. Yeah. Love bursting. So technically it's gonna be 10 to 6, which is where we're at right now. Starts season four, and then in the middle of season four, that's when we get the rest of it. Now oh, it's a little weird. Runes and sockets adding abilities. Yeah. Oh my god, a free set of blink. That's why I say I feel like it's a way that they're gonna like transition the classic players back into the retail ecosystem. That's how it really, really appears to me. If they can pull it off, they're gonna be freaking geniuses, you know. Hey Glowy. GM GM. Gonna be a shit show. Okay, we're gonna 
gonna put up some big damage on the A-bomb here, and then crank some more healing. Easy to cat weaver boomkin with stock UI. Uh, I haven't really tried to do boomkin with stock UI or anything. Yeah. Any news on alpha? Not yet. Praying for some soon TM. see it. Oh, fun, fun, Somo. Good luck, gamer. Created a thing with Mob. Announce it in a bit. GM said. No surprise. I know, Juki. So once we hit 3k, that's when we switched off doing default talent builds. And now we are cooking up our own build and setup and everything. And still plugging up to... Uh, Still plugging our way up. I'm 2,900. I'm trying to get 3K before the season ends. Stop when you got all your portals, yeah. I didn't do drift. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We love bursting week. Actually, tank was not too bad. Nice. You could have kept track of the healer's man and shot at you when it was below a certain percent. Smart. Hey, 
Harvick, thank you so much for the four months, my dude. Third time in a row, let's go. Yeah, it is pretty OP just being able to cast, uh, cast like a regrowth while in cat form and then it breaks me out. I need it to target me. Ah, uh, I need another phase. Name. Dude, I know. I'm just constantly, constantly snapping him. I love it. <laughs> What's up, John? Absolutely. Drew, I use the mount so much. I don't know. Cool looking mount. All profits at max as a result. I have a ton of mass as such. Which should I? When should I sell those to still make a profit? Probably ASAP. Yeah. There's always like those last minute moments where people are are trying to like play catch up with selling all their professions for the new X pack hits and everything. It's just always, always those moments and then things just sell for like dirt cheap.
Oh, my head's falling off. There we go. Gotta, gotta wait for all the hots I put up to fall off first. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, I said, Hunter, three, what the fuck, man? Interrupt three. boss shit. <laughs> Wait, but he didn't get, like, stunned, did he? Chat, what's this mean? Oh, that's, that's fun. That's, that's very fun. Oh, I, I I get context lose Ray. I I, I, <laughs> I see the imbecile. Fun, fun, fun. Rather, rather confusing there. Surely, surely, Kofi. And also the pandemonium stuff, I'm really excited for it. It seems like a way to convert classic players to retail. That's my thought. More like a hunk. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, that was certainly an experience. That was certainly something. It would surely be copping invite to that. Surely. I'm not sure, Ray. Since you go to clear Siege in TOT instead of Season 4 at this rate, yeah. I have to imagine the raids are going to be pretty easy. I mean, it'll have to be like... When you hit max level and then the heroic raids come out. That's when you probably have to like actually learn the mechanics, you know? XP the bosses give. I wonder if they're gonna like lock it out or you can only do the the raids. I wonder if you're only gonna be able to do the raids uh, once a week or something. That I'd be very curious about.
And yeah, I think really just like reusing content is the future for WoW. It is 100% the future for WoW. The more that they mix those things in and the more that they try to take advantage of old content in new and interesting ways, like the better it's going to be. Straight up. All right, let's just do it. Movie industry, it's all reboots. Yeah. I mean, that's a little apples and oranges. I think part of that is because DVDs and Blu-ray don't really exist anymore, and it's all streaming content. It's like the movies have to do really, really well out the gates. Because people don't really buy to own anything anymore. So they can't count on, like, like they have to recruit all their money in the box office, and that's it. So... Oh, I mean, like, so do video games. Video games definitely cost a fuck ton to make. Eh. Twisting time ways for time walking made all gearing easy and broke up the lull. Yeah. It is a little odd having... I, I mean, I guess at the end you're also going to be... Bringing that character into retail, though? Did I understand that correctly? Where, like, you, you get that character and then it bring, goes forward into retail with you? Like better there. It's sick looking transmog. Let's fucking go. Yeah, at the end they become live characters. See? Don't you think that's like an easy way? You're like, oh wow, my character's already level 70. You know? And it's based with a regular subscription. True. I am very curious about that as well, Doom. I'm really, really curious if that means that we're not going to get a mop classic. I hope we do, but I also would not... I also would not be surprised if we... If this is happening instead of mop classic. Because eventually there's got to hit an end point. Like, there's just got to be. You know? Because otherwise, you know, if they go into like Legion or something like that. Yeah, Legion would be pretty cool. But at the same time, that's basically just retail and there's no way the classic players would go play that you know it's a weekly rotation jesh for faded yeah it ended as soon as possible <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah i mean they could do like an accelerated wad or they could make changes to it but my like broader point is that eventually the game does become retail and those classic players aren't going to go play it and they would only serve to like take people away from retail wow you know the but they want people to play retail wow because retail wow has the shop and it has pets and cosmetics and mounts and just having more people and server transfers you know like all of this i know classic has a wow token right but i'm i'd have to imagine the revenue per user is much higher for retail players than for classic players and so if they can find a way to on-ramp all these people back into retail they go to make the money you know that's my thought so like hey here's this limited time cool event and also you get a max level character Probably gonna let you like transfer it to whatever server or make it on whatever server you like. You know?
Blackfoot. Unit frame for you and target default list. Uh, this is all default except for details and big wigs. Yeah. This works as long as we have the space for it. Oh, oh, tankums. Oh, tankums, no. Dude, they didn't give me any.
Uh, next season it will be, Lily. Next season. Ah. Uh, always fighting on the stairs. the healer's greatest fear. Let's see if I can beat the demon hunter. Gonna run it down mid, kind of mid. Uh, yeah. No! Ah. God, we're so close. Shoot the gap. Ah, there we go. Great success. Am I first? Oh my god, please tell me I'm first. Oh, we're first. Let's go. Yeah, that's what we love to see. <sighs> that's right. The <laughs> moose is loose. Come on, big dog. You gonna click it for the buds? Nah? Alright. It's like, fuck those guys. Screw the deer, I mean... Yeah, it seems that way. It does seem that way, doesn't it?
something. Nice. Not gonna lie, I'm really glad I, I've been specced into a kick. I know it only cost me, like, extra uptime on bark skin, uh, stamina when I shift into bear form. Uh, I guess I could spec out a hibernate instead and get that. You know, it just cost me a couple little things. At least get the kick stuff. Oh man, not having Mass Entangle for this is uh, a little, a little troll. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. Somehow alive. Oh yeah, we are a full melee comp. That also does make it really hard. Yeah, that would have been a good time for some chains. Tick or not. Here it comes. How you doing, fish? My insider knowledge? Alright, now I know you're joking. That a mop will be a solo thing, then a single post about grab your friends, the AH is disabled. Well, you have raids and dungeons to do. I don't know if they're like making the entire thing LFR, but that would be that'd be kinda weird. Stop 
Running out of my upflow for no reason. <laughs> so much, I know. And just from the way that they set up the map, I doubt that it's like all solo. I think there's a lot of solo stuff you can do, like solo queuing up for scenarios and whatnot. Um, but I'd have to imagine like the end game for the doing the, the raids and stuff would certainly be with the group for heroic raids. Uh, Kavok does a decent amount, yeah. If you have Nature Swiftness up, which buffs your next regrowth with one of these talents, healing bonus regrowth is increased by 35%. If you NS, and then you, you hit the Convoke, all of the regrowths that you cast are, uh, are buffed. So. You funny, Zelia. Hey, I didn't Holty. It's the best way to start learning healing. Uh, really, just as you're leveling, going through dungeons, read up on some guides, videos, things like that. There's always a lot of external resources for learning how to play the game. You know, kind of get your, your basics and fundamentals set up and then take it from there. <sighs> it's clearly kidnaps, Elia. Uh, no, nah, I haven't looked up any guides for Druid yet. Easy. Hey, Lucy, thank you, thank you, thank you for the three months. difficult it can be i think it's also really rewarding very satisfying Five, when you do it right four three two one any info on alpha beta testing nope i'm pretty sure they were saying that people who pre-order get beta but I think that was about it. Oh, that's so troll. All right. Just go, go put it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, tankums.
I'm bummed. Five, four, three, two, one. Although, personally, I mean, unless they're going to give you crazy early access, my experience, most of the time, the people that want beta usually end up getting it anyway. So, I wouldn't stress too terribly much. There's been a lot of times where content creators get to do giveaways, but they're like super restrictive about it. Um, but they've definitely done that where they give have giveaways for content creators. They've also done it where uh, they just kind of natty are giving it out to everybody as well. So lots of lots of opportunities. Honestly, the more that you play, like, PTR, the better your chances are of getting alpha beta. Like, people who post on forums, post feedback, post bugs, all that stuff, have a lot of... a lot better chances. Uh, Blizzard has click casting built in Barum. If you just search click casting in the options menu. So. Over just a good beginner healer. Yep. And I got all kinds of guides and content to help you get started if you're interested. It's all on the YouTube channel and my guides on Wowhead. Uh, Priest is going to be my main for Season 4. Still deciding on which two alts I want to have. I don't know what you're talking about, Unrelentless. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're hardcore chatting. Yeah, maybe Monk. Or sorry, well, maybe Druid, maybe Preservation of Ochre. Definitely Monk. I am certainly not maining Age Valley, Five, sorry. Four, three, two, one. Age Valley was my very first healer. But with what they've done with it, I'm set. I'm set. Five, four, three, two, one. You should have made Morshi take like extra damage during this phase or something.
I've been playing B I've been playing all the others in BTR right now, but if nothing changes for Paladin, I'm not playing it next season. It is just not fun. It's just not fun. Oh yeah, I'll post the uh, the meta video in in chat stuff. You guys haven't seen it already. Thank you, thank you, Sevilla. Can you also set the? I think I can set that as well. Unpin after. There we go. Got it. See what? It should, Ajuki. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen the PTR yet. Let's see for this season. I hope Preservation makes a comeback. It's really, really fun in season four with that tier set. Yeah, I, I am having a lot of fun with it. If the PTR goes up, we'll uh, certainly be playing it. Tank, oh my god. Say anything, not gonna say anything, not gonna say anything. Cannot believe we were able to do that. I mean, we somehow did it. I'm just saying. Somehow, some way. side of these guys.
Tank, no. Why do you do this? Oh, they're fucking dead. Everybody's dead, actually. Yep. I mean, the thing is, we're still gonna chest this, though. This is kind of a big thing that like new tank players don't quite get is like how your positioning affects other people. Yeah. So man, we got it. I'm just saying, we got it. Got 11 points. They're like, res me quickly! Nah. <laughs> I don't even know if we had a res. Pretty sure we didn't, actually. But I don't know. Tips I'll give it a new tank. Um... You know, beyond the basics of, like, be aggressive with your defensives. Um, you know, like, making calls if you actually needed it, need extra defensives on hand, things like that. I think the biggest thing is, like, positioning yourself and being mindful of, like, where... Where Cleave's going, or, like, where you're directing Cleave's at. Like, throughout that run, the tank moved a couple different times and killed people with Cleave's. Which is really, really rough. Just doing what you can to, like, mitigate that damage on people. Don't, uh, don't, like, chain, like, four mob. Like, if you're gonna pull mobs, pull everything at once, you know? Don't go, like, three mobs, fight them for a little while, and then move, and then pull three more mobs, something like that, you know? Those are always pretty, pretty big things that I see from, like, pug tanks. Nice, John. And our drip, but damn, every time I log into mine, it remembers how many buttons it has. It, it, it is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, the more the more predictable you are with your movement and your abilities, the more predict predictable you are with your like trash pulls, the better it is. Saving your kick for like the most important kick in a pack when you're pugging is also really big. Yeah. I hope PTR is up today. I am working on hitting 3k. We're 29.11. We're trying. Trying to get there. Make sure to the bathroom quick. One sec. I'll be right back.
What's up, Sven? Any PTR changes? Not yet. Has not been any Season 4 PTR changes or any of that stuff just yet. Uh, it's all my websites, Ben. Find it in the description. Trying to the panda event? Yep. Just like the title says, when 1027 PTR goes live, then we will go test it. I don't know, Phoenix. Is there an update? Do megabytes. All right. Let me know if it uh, actually posts up with the servers and everything like that. Item Ben. Not sure, Crypt. I am big chilling. I am ready for that ten two seven PTR, man. I am ready. I assume it's gonna be Dragonfly Towns too, right? Ten two seven is the the panda Five, the pandemonium four, stuff, Celia. Three, two, one. It appears we have uninvited guests. No matter. Servers are still down. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, check Wowhead, Celia. There's like a brand new post up there that explains all of it. Everybody just walks away. Still incompatible. Okay. Thank you for the update. I did not want to leave a group that I just joined. But hopefully they come up soon. Maybe Blizzard's just waiting for me, you know?
It's about buff, I can feel it. Hmm. I think you might need to get a doctor to check that out, because that's that maybe not is what you think it is. I am just racking up the kicks. I'm gonna have to see stats at the end of this. Where are we going, Tank? Where? Spearing a mop uh, a few years earlier than you expected, I know, right? Well, my only concern with it is maybe that means that they're not gonna do mop classic. I don't know. Hope not. We'll see. A priest kick would be too powerful. So true. Yeah. Fast Dragon Kata for Mop Classic? Then why do a Mop event and then Fast Track Kata and then do a Mop Classic? Season of Discovery uh, to Classic going forward. Yeah. Honestly, I really think it is just a way to bring Classic players back to retail. I really do. You complete the event and then you get a max level character. All right, come on. You're disappointed by it? Really? Wait, how come? Oh. 
every Dota Half Classic? Yeah. But I mean, I assume that we're playing with retail specs, right? Later. I'm not sure if they said that they were doing challenge modes or not. I know everyone wants them back, but I feel like people kind of forget that once you cleared them, there was no extra endgame to it besides selling them. Once you were, once you did it and you got it done for all your friends, then you just sold it. It's actually not too dissimilar than like some of the uh, MDI kind of stuff where you would like you pull oh you fucked up all right you just go do it again you just start from the beginning and do it again the positive side was that it was way more about abusing the dungeon and creative use of game mechanics than dungeons are today it was like how best do you pull mobs through walls and skip over terrain that you're not supposed to stuff like that you know oh it'll be fun i just don't think it's gonna have as much staying power as people think it will that's all yeah that's my that's my whole point There's all these moments where I feel like I'm not doing that much healing, and then I look down and I'm doing 200k. Like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of comments of like, I don't like that they're doing this, they should just make more content. You know? I don't know, that happens. are never gonna be happy. It's okay if something's not for you. It's not, like, interesting to you. The people who are, like, viscerally angry about it. It's like, uh... Honestly, just reusing content's the future, you know? just what has to happen in order to like avoid having these gaps because if they could make more content they would you know hey goo thank you so much for the prime This really neutral about it? That's fair. Yeah. I would rather have them experiment with stuff and create stuff that's not for everybody than kind of continue down the same old path. 
kind of the big thing for me. I just don't want to do the same old, same old forever. Jars up. All right, we'll do it right after this. I mean, it's more than just mop again, though. Yo, Weastifer. Thank you so much for the 42 months. Welcome back, welcome back. Gonna giga chat it up. Just blink, man. Just blink. Just blink. Just blink. Is testing bed future content, dragon riding, gear upgrade system, plunderstorm, now 1027. Yeah. I think after a couple expansions of like, here's borrowed power, here's here's the standard raids, the standard M plus, the standard whatever, right? You know, it's, it's just high time for them to make uh make some moves and change things up. People forget a lot of things, Malikins, yep. Yep, we used to have 14 month breaks, or 14 month gaps between content. That was Siege of Orgrimmar, 13 months for Warlords of Draenor. I think after Legion, it started getting to like 10 or 11 months or something like that. So, Trinkets, I suggest for disc of all the M plus ones, but not raid ones. Uh, I usually run like a stat stick and like leaf. If I want to like pug and play really safe. I have the raid rage heart trinket for my own self survivability, but I know, like you said, you don't have the raid trinkets. Gimmick starts on Friday on PTR. Wait, so there's nothing right now? Flame. Is there like a post about it or something? Oh, they tweet out about it now? Uh, maybe, maybe there's like hints or references to it in the PTR and they wanted to get the PTR up early. Who knows? Maybe there's some last minute issue that they're trying to fix before it's ready for testing. Yeah. Hey, how you been, Trey? Doing quite well. You see the announcement for the uh, Pandemonium PTR? I think it's a great idea as well, like, like being able to be like, oh yeah, you guys already have a max level Dragonflight character now. Now there's like no excuse, you know. This is pretty smart.
really bad name of the PTR and you can't report. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. Yeah. People are gross. so annoying. Alright, we're chilling. For someone for a name of BTR? I mean, if it's, like, super racist, then, yeah. Why not? If there's, like, detestable behavior or super shitty behavior, then why do you like, excuse it if it's just in ETR or just in some like temporary kind of content, you know? Was in line versus 10 to 7 BTR and no pally changes. Well, it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. Wasn't that the thing though? Is like if people think that they're not gonna get in trouble for something, then they'd be more likely to do it. So then, if you do enforce it, then people don't do shitty things. Yeah. back, but he's not going to, so we might as well just rip the battle res. God, I hate these etches. So soothing, yeah, as long as they're not on you. Finally, Frax down. Nice, Sadie, congrats. Oh, Balefire Branch is like a raid trinket, Saba. Yeah, people are saying the event is not on PTR right now, but we can check right after this key. Just to be sure. Can be spoiled by the data mining. Eh, everything gets spoiled one way or the other.
Kick, Stinky's kick. That spell's very effective in a lot of the dungeons, yeah. You just have to have, like, the best timed master spell, though, since, you know, it's a two-minute cooldown. But yeah, you can still rip a master spell for, like, the slow debuff crap in Halls of Infusion, which is really nice. There's a lot of, like, extra debuffs that go out onto people, too, which are all... Very good to shut down with mess. Yeah, new mop event. Probably up on Wowhead and everything by now. I haven't seen it yet. Let's do it. Yeah, people were saying uh, the event's not up yet, Beric. But I'll check right after this. Did he proc cheat? Oh, he did. Rip.
up once the big juicer pulls, man. All right. Oh, yeah. This is going to suck. Probably need an update for you. If your thing is incompatible, you need an update. Sometimes the updates haven't gone through yet, or they take some time to go up. Man, we are probably gonna wipe, actually. doing fire now. Nah. funny question who has the item uh shouldn't shouldn't arranged slow walk out and do it yeah don't don't mages have the ability to do most of the rotation on the move Sounds good, Shadow. Oh, we're doing the mechanics. I somehow picked up some. I'll go get it, guys. Here we go.
we go. We're starting to get overwhelmed. Right as the weapon broke. Let's go. Mm. That was kind of nice. All right, let's pull a PTR after I repair. Got an update cooking. New time running content is not yet available. New calendar entry titled Panda Area Remix suggests we'll be able to test content starting Friday through Sunday. Sweet. Artifact cloak that levels as you play? I know, and it's supposed to be a cat line too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of hyped for it. All right, let's see if there's anything else of note. Class changes no ad dot com. Ooh. Uh, don't care. There is no change. Don't care. Don't care. Lamau essence font. PvP. Okay. LOL. <laughs> LOL. Chat, you guys are just baiting me. Good lord, man. Just baiting me. Well, Main's coping so hard every time something happens on Wow Head. <laughs> yup. Oh man. Alright, let me let me go to the bathroom real quick. And then we'll dig into this and see if there's anything of note on PTR. Be right back.
almost back. Just a sec. What maniac muted? Wait, what? I mute. Oh, I mean, surely you guys didn't hear me going to the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, if I like here, here has the window. Windows right here. If I had put my desk setup, turn it ninety degrees, so that. The window is coming here and then it's even light hitting my face. It would also put the bathroom in the background. I have to close the door to the bathroom all the time. Azrix, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. All right, anything on PTR of note? My desk in the bathroom? That'd be a whole other stream. Exactly. Oh, that's kind of funny. They have PCR and stuff here. Huh. Or, um, M plus, though. Oh, uh, actually, there is, like, a store. It's, like, bedroom, bathroom, and then closet. That's how it's set up here. Which I actually really like. Hi, I appreciate it, man. Sir, first achieves for the, the mop stuff. It looks like this stuff is a build ahead. I have lived Equinox just showed me the... Uh, Equinox just showed me the incarnate icon being nerfed you. pretty heavily. Yeah. It's kind of cute that they're having Realm First achievements come back. I know people have been wanting those for a while. Where the hell am I? Very remix. I got an August Phoenix. You can reach level 20. Title Time Runner and Item. Time Runner's Idol. What the heck is that? Realm first gets you a title called a Mist Runner. Oh, man. That's actually a pretty sick title. That's a pretty sick title. A lot of appearances. <clears throat> we do the heroic Pandaria raids. You get the title Claw of Eternus. Bronze caches. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Miss Walker. Me too, Ravix. I I also have Miss Walker. But then you could be a Mist Runner. Holy shit, dude. That, that title just beats the crap out of the Mist Walker title. Not you're only a Mist Walker? Bro, I'm Mist Runner. Get owned.
Crown Burst for the Garrosh achievement. Wait, is there? Is there that? Where is it? What am I missing? Wait, you're going to be able to dragon ride in Pandaland zones? Oh, that's going to be sick. Can I walk, no run, bad for the knees, yep. It's just below the Mist Runner. Run first, Time Runner, Mist Runner, the Jade Forest. What? Raids, Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar, Raider Bronze Cash. What am I missing? It's way below. <laughs> I'm I'm literally just being trolled. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? These are all bronze caches. I'm in garage. Realm first into the garage. How is this when you're the Mist Runner? <laughs> okay. Realm first, defeat of Garrosh, Hellscream, Mythic Difficulty, Paragon of the Mists. Okay, that is super sick. Can you do 10 mans? Or are they gonna... I guess it's gonna be Mythic, so you have to have 20 people. I'm not taking... I'm not taking you guys on a road trip with me. I need directions. Mm, man. I mean, you know the thing about it is you could just go to a dead realm and then guarantee that you get the title too. I mean, keep, keep in mind, you can make a character on whatever realm you want and then you set it to go to Pandaland, right? Something like that. It's not world first, it's realm first. Right? Uh, I imagine there's not going to be a Mythic Lei Shen, because Mythic only came out um, in Siege of Orgrimmar. Yeah. Shift cozy. Are you able to kill it? I mean... Ben, thank you for the six months. No, I don't, I don't think that today Mythic Garrosh would be considered a super hard fight. It'd be hard, but like, I don't know. Mythic Smolderon, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it confirms that there's going to be a a Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar to do. Damn, dude. <laughs> I want to do it. <laughs> I want to do it, but man, to get Realm first, yeah, you're going to have to do some sweaty stuff. I'm... I gotta see if I can find a sweaty team for this. Yo, Equinox. You wanna form up? Round first with the garage, baby. Woo! Black fuses still kill pugs. Oh dude, it's gonna annihilate pugs. Yeah. Release this exactly after Plunge Storm and keep it until the war within. They might, yeah. Chat, does this not look like the letters that are in like I don't know, the the Riddler letters, or like the the kidnapping thing. 
They, like, send you a bunch of cutout letters that are all in, like, janky-ass sizes. Did I kidnap somebody? <laughs> She's like, oh, stay tuned. <laughs> you have three days to find this person before they run out of oxygen. Uh, I don't know what those last three words even are, Restless. No idea. I asked her if she kidnapped somebody. Thought about the Riddler? Yeah, I watched the uh, watched the whole movie about it, you know? So, uh, it's literally right here, Lisa. It's in the capital city. There's all the vendors around the street. <sighs> Maybe like a... Ages ago, Restless. Something about October 10th and telling the guy the date. That's about all I got. That's about all I got. October 3rd. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, nobody's perfect, okay? Yeah, actually, remembering dates is my greatest weakness. It honestly really is. Oh yeah, I never use uh I never use LUI red frames. Two from now, eh, you can do a lot with LVY, but I hate actually going through the options menu. It's actually super bad. Yep. Uh, Alright, so they say Pandaria Remix begins. Infinite Dragonflight is investigating the history. Replay the Miss Pandaria expansion with new seasonal abilities and rewards. Not gonna lie, sweating it up sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. It actually sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Ah, right, well, back to live until we have some stuff to actually test in PTR. Yeah, no age pally changes. The data mine changes we did have was pretty much nothing. Ooh, what is this? Mythic plus LFG improvements. Hunter pet stable. 
Oh, let's see. Filter button's been added to let you filter the results for specific dungeons. You roll. None of your classes already in group. Tanker healer already in group. Minimum N plus rating. Roll icons now show class colors. Listing tooltip now shows the leader's info in a more readable format. Their M plus rating, their highest key. Listing tooltip now sh shows info for all members of the raid group, including their specializations and M plus rating. Listing tooltip now shows the dungeon raid name and difficulty. Oh, help tip tutorials been added to help teach players. Okay. Groups you are hard to climb from are automatically marked in red and sorted to the bottom. Dang. Should I level an ultra mob? I guess I'm starting to hold off on that for now. Yeah. Pretty much. That's pretty sick. Appkin tooltip now shows the applicant's info in a more readable format. M plus rating, their highest key, and their highest key for all dungeons. Woo! Well, no, it just, like, it discourages you from signing up for the same group again. Yeah. I mean, that's good, though. They should take add-ons that are super helpful, super common, whatever, and then just... Yoink him and put him into the game, you know? How you doing, Rage? Makes sense to not have it in the first place other than not have the uh, dev time to implement. Yeah. Group declines you, you're not getting in. They also add one for when you've waited for more than a minute. Um, You already have a timer. You already have like a countdown for it. So I think it's fine. I wish they would get rid of the cap that you can only sign up for five though. I think only being able to sign up for five is kind of annoying. Yeah. All right, so that's actually six change. Yeah, realm first achievements returning. Oof. Any holy valley buffs? Not yet. Oh, the time running realms will be separate from existing ones. Oh, so I guess you get a, a transfer afterwards or something. Yeah. God, I'm so fucking hyped for this. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm ready. Never care for run first stuff. It's not for everybody. Not for everybody. Zalantath model. This basically looks like what we saw out of the cinematic. And yeah, no paladin changes. No paladin changes. Refresh Wowhead. What's up? Summer fun this Pride Month in the trading post. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the floaty is really cool. Is that going to be a full fledged belt? It's time running. Basically the, the pandemonium event. Going through old mop stuff. That's pretty sick. Has WoW never actually had swimsuits before?
play bikinis. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Is this trading post stuff or? Yeah, trading post. I bet this stuff is going to be so expensive. <laughs> if you're not already saving. If you're not already saving up resources or saving up tendies. Speaking of which, am I on live right now? Yeah. Let me go to the trading post. Let me go to the trading post and just see. Stormwind. I'm not going to Stormwind. I'm going to a different character. I hate being an alliance. <laughs> it's actually so bad. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to drop Night Elf next season. I'm not going Dwarf. I'm just going to go like Goblin again. It's going to be nice. One said for the currency, others on trading post. It said it was on the trading post. Uh, there's just not any... Um, there's not as many things that you're going to be able to, like, Night Elf Shadow Meld your way out of for next season. So, no idea if we're getting any, any buffs for Holy Pally. Really just don't know. Oh, yeah, just the duck. I think I even looked at any of this stuff. Oh yeah, it's all the pirate stuff. Yeah, yeah. Spirits bring you good fortune. <laughs> Fast changes were like three months from pre-patch. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty sick. I wouldn't be too sure. I wouldn't be too sure. There's honestly a lot of times where they make changes in preparation for the next expansion. Yeah. Oh, it's a whole bunch of items. Eh. This is kind of cute. <laughs> There's a lot of ensembles they're having. Spring hat's cool. Assassin's Bandolier is pretty cool, but I don't really play a rogue. Also, I don't really like that purple. A lot of fancy parasol. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's the chest mog is just... Violet stones is just the necklace? What? <sighs> yeah, I saw the model. I mean, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, that is a pretty big cleaver. Mantle of the Scholarly Raven. This is really ugly. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could work with like a Warlock Mog or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. These are the Kalamazi arm sleeves. What am I missing? Where is it? Oh, it's a belt. Eh. Safe 
Actually, no, I kind of do want the treasure. Kind of do. Scrolls are coming back for time running. Let's go, baby. Oh, let's go. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll get the little pretty mug. I'm actually going to use all my tenders, damn. Although I have a bunch more I can earn, can't I? Don't I? Yeah. I mean... Conceivably, you would be able to do normal and heroic 10-man because it's mop, and then you would need 20 to go do mythic, if you think about it. Just saying. Judging by my username, I don't think I'll be rating. What? What? <laughs> oh, we made another Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, dude, we made it. We made it, but <laughs> pull all this up. <laughs> Gonna be like, wait, seriously? Okay. Alright. Diarrhea though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other any other wildhead news? Wait, new new blizzard tweet. Just memes. Scrolls, do they know how 10 men will be without all the buffs? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Exactly. For an hour, your damage brands the target. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. So, what is, um, what is Chaos Brand already? Is it 4%? Is it a 1 to 1? Let's see. Oh, it's 5%. Okay, yeah, 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 5%. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, man. Oh, that's sick. Well, I mean, 5% to down to 4% is still going to be really, really good. Yeah. Versatility by 2% as opposed to versatility by 3%, right? Yeah. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really, really good. Dude, let's go. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait. That means we're getting 10 man, baby. Woo! Dude, you just love to see it, man. You just love to see it. Wait, 
Wait, why are scrolls lame? Wait, what? Why are scrolls lame? TW Alpha? I wish I knew. Wish I knew. Why would you not like scrolls? Never bloom. <laughs> okay, so to reiterate, raid buff scrolls returning in patch 10.2.7. In that PTR, it indicates the return of raid buff scrolls, including Mystic Touch and etc., for time running Pandaria Remix. So if you're doing dungeons or raids in Pandaria Remix, then you get have access to it. But why why would scrolls ever be like a bad thing? Regardless of content. They're just in general a great thing. Here, elaborate. I, I don't know what else I could say to that. Being able to make up for not having certain buffs that are insanely valuable in all forms of content, like fortitude and like versatility, is good because then compositions are less reliant upon having those. It's a slight extra reward. That would make characters unique? No, I think the damage or healing profiles or certain abilities like grip or gateway are what makes classes unique. If I thought, like, what makes Priest unique is not that I just hit a button once before I start a raid fight and give everybody extra health. That doesn't actually make me feel like a Priest. At all. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't give a damn at all if that gets homogenized. Right? Nah, I moved on, Chris. So, in the past, so I've I've had alpha access in the past, and I'm not sure if there's ever been like a secret alpha thing. But my experience has been Oh my god, alpha goes out to everybody and then or whoever, right? Content creators, friends and family, etc. And like I've had times where I've been on somebody's like friends and family list. And they like asked me, you know, a day or a couple days in advance or something like that. And they're like, oh yeah, do you have access or do you have somebody putting you on your list, whatever? And I'd be like, no. And then they'd put me on the list. And then a couple days later, you know, it would happen. Yeah. I mean, if they have like a private alpha, it'd be like Blizzard employees and their like family members or something. Yeah. Because they do that kind of stuff. I would absolutely much rather there be no raid buffs. Or, better yet, I think it's actually better to have, like, multiple classes bring the raid buffs the way they did in Mr. Pandaria. So, in addition to... Where are we going? Throne of the Tides? In addition to, um, priest bringing fortitude, shaman would also bring fortitude, you know? Yeah. Yeah, comp based around what every class brings to the table. Yeah, you can still do that, though, without raid buffs. Or with more homogenized raid buffs, you can still do that. The stuns, the dispel profiles, the kick quantity, all of those things also have an impact beyond just raid buffs. I mean, don't people already do that? Caster comps are already the strongest. And so then people just bring those. Yeah, so far there's nothing for Priest. So far there's nothing for Priest, because they went back to the drawing board.
start alpha before the 23rd third and still haven't released all the mock-ups yeah i mean listen they said they wanted to not that they would come on guys it's blizzard it's blizzard Drawing board for all the hero talents, just Oracle, just Oracle, just Oracle. Can't click links. What is this? What are you, what is he linking to us? Ain't clicking that. Watch. Question mark V equals eight. U N F M X T S G I four. Oh, it's a short on how to do the last boss. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's actually quite funny. Uh. style healer and wow thing is with oracle it's not just it's adding on to what the spec already has to deal with so it's adding so much more to the equation like yeah if they wanted to design a healer to be like asked from the start that's one thing but that's not really what they're doing here You are dead for sure. Is there hope for Lightsmith? Eh, I hold my breath. We'll see. You bet, Jim. Cheers, bro. Well, I feel like Evoker is one of the easiest healers that you're going to be able to add new abilities in for, right? So it kind of makes sense. You can add some extra abilities, some extra complications, and advancements to the spec pretty easily because it just doesn't have that many abilities, you know? Echo and golf. Yeah, that'll be very interesting. I'm not convinced if you'll be able to, but we'll see.
Why do I not have a reticule? I somehow make it into a cursor macro. Oh, it's back. Now we're on live again. We're on live. I gotta learn to like trust the treants more, especially after I've already like deployed one or put one out. Uh, I think I prefer Holy Priests. Damage style over. over like weaving forms and stuff. Tank. Uh, yeah. Now what? Now what, tank? You gotta <laughs> death strike, please. All right, let's go. Yeah, my reticule is just gone again. Uh, and it's back. Yeah, shape shaping back and forth, and also like when you're in stressful situations, remembering what form you're in, when you can cast abilities and stuff, kind of gets me sometimes. I don't know what RC is. Ready check? Maybe?
Yeah, it was the shield trinket. Using leaf to help out where I can. Right now I'm running leaf and sea star. Deepest wish for your 11 uh, 0. Mm. Honestly, it's more about like making healing in general fun again than anything else. Yeah. I like how both pre specs play. I just want the environment of healing in general to be more fun, especially in raids. Especially in raids. Yep. More rot, more reasons for healers to actively and constantly and consistently be healing all the time. You know? Stuff like that. I would take that over most class changes. Like, yeah, it'd be great if preset and interrupt. It'd be great if they were balancing out the class raid buffs. Because those have gotten really out of hand. Healing is not healing? Exactly. I think that is the biggest problem right now with game modes I like to play. Yeah, that's the thing is like I've made a million videos about it at this point, talked about all the problems, ad nauseum. And I'm really hoping that they they take heed at the start of an expansion because that's usually the area they have the most breathing room to make substantial changes, right? Like, if they wanted to make a whole bunch of changes to healing, it would also have quite a bit to do with how much output your abilities did. And they don't want to change those mid-expansion if they can help it, you know? That's something I've heard from devs many, many times over the years. They're like, yeah, we don't want to, like, change stuff. You don't want to change stuff mid X pack. Bloody kids getting a little bodied by these. It's time with the cooldowns going into season three. Yeah, yeah. They have made a decent amount of changes just in general, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully he dies though, right? Oh, Tankums, what are we doing? What are we doing, dude? Looks like we're killing the boss. But at what cost? Woo! All right. Man, what great success. I get what he was trying to do to, like, not run into those mobs. But at the same time, man. 
<laughs> like, give us somewhere to go. Who was asking earlier about their tank positioning and, like, getting into tanking? Stuff like that. It's like, okay, you've, you've established no other space for us to stand. Yeah. Dang, I was hoping to bait somebody with the, the go. We are getting there. There's a button. There's a button. 2916. I also only need like uh tank? Good night. I also only need like three more dungeons after this until I've upgraded every piece I can upgrade. So effectively fully geared. Yeah, we should be able to get the last couple, uh, Last couple of points before the new season starts. That's the goal. Like 18 aspect benches to upgrade everything. It's so much. It's so much, and it's like so unnecessary, too. But. Can we also just increase the rate? Yeah. It's an aspect of your alts? I don't know. I had no idea. That's the thing is, like, while this expansion has absolutely been more friendly, it's really odd how they've kept gearing really, really, like, slow for your alts, where, yeah, you could potentially do it at any time, but you have to do, like, the rudimentary grind of just doing a buttload of dungeons. When people are like, oh, man, like, M-plus is better in this expansion, more people are doing it. I'm like, in some ways, yes. But I'm sure those elevated M-plus numbers are also because the only way to continue your gearing process after a while is to just slam the dungeons and do nothing else, right? I don't want to be, like, negative Nancy about it, but it's just like, oh, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I know why the numbers are so high. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, even, like, past 17, you get a, an extra... Aspect crest or two per key level or something. It all adds up. Keep sub. Yeah. So the people who don't want to go through that process. Then they dip. I think I saw somebody make a comment on one of Echo's posts talking about, like, over time, you would earn more Aspect Crests week by week.
four, three, two, one. Where is he? What the? I mean, there we go. Four, three, two, one. Not yet, Vino. Not that I've seen, at least. You must carry on without me. I shall take my leave once my strength has returned. Oh, you started the season. It was brutal getting your daggers from fall runs. Yep. Damn it. their little corruptions coming <laughs> no oh, yeah mob thing is gonna be happening in the middle of season four which I think is great we we definitely need some additional content to shake up that uh, season four. Like, even if you don't like the the mop setup that's coming, you gotta admit that having something in addition to the faded season definitely makes it a lot better. It's like, okay, you may not like this thing, but what about in the future when they try other experimental ways to like reuse content in interesting setups, you know? Maybe you're gonna like those. Maybe they're gonna continue doing it because they have faith in it actually working, you know? That enough of the player base is gonna enjoy it. Dang, the old double tap to the back of the head. I'm thinking PTR today. It's not up today, fortunately. Yeah. The PTR is up, but there's no content for the new thing. Otherwise I would, but it looks like it's gonna be Friday, so we got our we got our plans for Friday. So assuming it goes to plan all day Friday, we're gonna experience the Pandaland stuff. So the staff I have my monk is from wad challenge modes. Yeah, but it did make me wonder if they're gonna make the challenge mode transmogs available. I am very curious about that. Yeah.
A long way we've come, I know. Big boy takes swift bend. Yeah, you better believe that with all those monks transferring, there's going to be a buttload of people playing it. You got to keep in mind, so much of Plunderstorm with pirate transmogs. There were so many people, at least from my view in the lobby, there were so many people who were playing that and hated it. And then they're like, give us PVE. And it's like Blizzard activated their trap card. Change of heart. And then it's, you know, mop, mop stuff, right? Like, man, if that game mode is not jumping, like, insanely, insanely, insanely busy, I would be amazed, right? Oh, I know. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Now, now is, if you want to be, like, really, really, really petty, now is the time to go find all the people who are bitching and moaning on forums or Twitter or whatever. And where they specifically ask for a PvE mode. And then if they're like, I don't like this mode either, then then you, you drop the the receipts on them. Not that I would do that or anything, but you know, if somebody else was sufficiently minded or sufficiently uh, motivated. It's like a kid that doesn't want to eat their veggies. Listen, my pettiness is for when somebody does something bad or mean to me. Then the gloves are off. But I would just giggle behind the scenes if somebody did pull up receipts. That's the difference. Is that petty, though? Kind of can be. Depends on your point of view, I think. Dang, they should have watched the video. Tank, tank the things. Tank the things on me, tank. Speaking of petty, I really want to be like, you guys should have watched the video, the tank links. But I know that wasn't even, even their fault. It just would be really, really funny. Bro, I am trying to live. All right, Tank, you got this. See, I, and I didn't do it. I just thought about it, but I didn't actually do it. Plotting Barrage, Ink Blast, Ink Blast, Ink Blast. Taste with Men stays winning on the kick meter. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I don't actually know why Druids don't run that kick. At least in like heavy pug environments, you know? At least in heavy pug environments. Oh, damn, that was 28 points. Let's go. Who didn't even need to watch a vid? All right. Hopefully that's going to be that'll be funny, not not petty. See, he, he, he laughed. OK, he, he took it. Yeah, he took it in good stride. Good sport. 
It's definitely obnoxious, but like when you catch this many kicks. I gotta say it's worth. Five bolts, four flays, four blasts, three lightning bolts, two water bolts, some ink blasts. That was total, yeah. Yeah. Planning to open WoW Remix Miss Pandaria for testing on Darkheart starting on Friday. Let's... Go! What time? 10 a.m. That's perfect for me because I got an appointment in the morning. And they just asked me if I would confirm the appointment. So let me do that now. Perfect. All right, chat. Tim, you guys know what we're doing Friday. <laughs> What's the lore in the vid joke? Oh, oh, at the beginning of the dungeon, he the tank linked a video to, like, how to do the last boss because he had bad experiences in the past. And so the joke is, we all died, but we still chested it anyway. So I'm like, oh, yeah, we didn't do this stupid video. You know. Yeah. Asking a healer to get their kick or a tank to get their dispel is cringe. Yeah. Dude, I can't tell you how many times in Season 1, DPS would not take their poison to spells because they didn't want to spec into it, didn't want to spend the point on it. I'm like, oh, God. You go into Algathar and, like, somebody was supposed to be the dispeller, and then they're just like, oh, I didn't tell into it. It's like, oh, rad. Pretty rad. So, yeah, and honestly, like, 24 kicks, it adds up. Man, it's so tempting to sign up for a friend group and be like, come on, guys. It's alright, though. I'm very glad we didn't wipe either. I'm very glad I get the joke about it and we didn't get the wipe either. Yeah. Bang. So close, man. Only two more pieces. I need 30 and 60. So close. What are you getting invited to? Oh, let's go. Is it worth to play Heal Druid next season or Disc? Uh, I'd prefer Disc, but they're both going to be really good. Uh, they just nerfed the Incarnate Icon on the 1027 PTR. I don't know if that's going to happen right away or not, but it looks like the Incarnate Icon got a pretty hefty nerf. So I'm curious to see how that's going to shape things up. That may not be our best stat stick as a result. But I think having War to face Ire, especially if you pug a lot, to be able to save other people is really strong. Rage Heart's really, really strong to save yourself and protect yourself. It kind of depends on how you want to use your abilities. I'm going to Black Rook. Which is somewhere. This is it. Um, but yeah, Trinkets obviously are going to be like the big prio early on. Beacon and Bellarellos are big fat damage. Oddly excited for the MOP remix. Love MOP, hate levelings, getting everything to 70 to side in your main. Yep. That's the thing, too, is, like, you could just use it as an accelerated leveling process for your alts. I love that. Yeah. Who am I playing? Uh, Priest, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so you have to make a new character, and you start at level 10. And then it gets transferred over after the event. Uh, just got posted today, Moose. So if you want to read about it, it's on. It's all over Wowhead. But the TLDR is that it's 
revisiting mop raids and dungeons and scenarios and you do them while you level so you can quest in the zones but you're also going to be able to do the raids dungeons scenarios while you're leveling from 10 to 70. I kind of was going to be this for everybody. Yeah. So they, they put in a pretty hefty nerf for it. It's It should be fun. If anything, it's going to be different. And the fact that they're trying, they're like, hey, let's bring back old content, but also put a twist to it is, you know, a very, very, very big positive, you know? Exactly, Moose. Exactly, man. I really think that having the mix of, like, nostalgia and then also making something that's practical for retail is, like, oh, it's perfect. That's what I want. That's what I want. Reforming keys? Nah, I'm just doing my druid stuff today. I'm pretty sure you could just play Evoker, and I'm pretty sure you can also Dragon Ride in the mop zones, too. Which is going to be pretty sick. I'm just saying... Dragon D's on all the pandas. <laughs> oh, uh, I saw a tweet today that had me rolling. They're like, oh, if they get rid of the furry characters, I'll go play Mop. And somebody was like, you know, Tarn have been around since the beginning, right? <laughs> yes, Beast is a retail mode. So basically, it's a limited time event. And then when the event is over, that character gets brought into retail. And so you're leveling by doing the scenarios and the raids and the dungeons and all that stuff. And there's a lot of cosmetics you get along the way for doing it. And then the end result is that character is brought forward. So. Five, four, so yeah, you learn three, how to play a class two, as you're leveling it one. up. You just, you just slam. Is the Draenei Heritage Armor any good? A lovely invoker from 10 would be like oh that's actually a good point yeah
Yeah, I'm really curious if they're going to give you the mob challenge mode sets. But even having the mob transmogs from the raids are going to be pretty sick. Lots of positives from it. Again, I think exclusivity is good for a certain period of time. I don't I don't care if eventually people get stuff, right? It's it's literally the same exact thing as the cutting edge mounts, right? It's like over time eventually people farm those up and then they go get them and then that's fine. And nobody's bad at an eye about that. You know, for like a century. You know? It's like, yeah. If they want to bring back like mob challenge mode sets, screw it. Go for it. Full sets. Later on down the line, either make it exclusive or don't. They've been so inconsistent with that, though. Oh, no. Let's go. See mounts in the store, the training post to start a riot. Okay, they shouldn't do those, right? They shouldn't do those, but making it so that hey, there's this event and you're able to go earn earn these things again or the way they've been doing the black market auction house where there's like an additional grind in order to get those items. I think those things are fine. Yeah, if they just sold them and it was pay to win, that would just be stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100%. I'm with you wasted. If it's something that's comparable, I'm down. The mop Lego cloak effects a toy. That's kind of cool. Because, I mean, nobody's going to be using those effects anyway. And those are really, really cool effects. I also did really like how the mop effects would basically just be able to identify that this person's a healer, this person's a DPS from a distance.
I think though, because the tank cloak sucked. That was fine. It wasn't as cool because it was like, it was like darker, earthy colors, wasn't it? It was like Nijao. Yeah, cloak one with Crackbird was great. And on the top left, below the buffs, that is details. Spot when we first got the three talents per tier tree. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think that's when we got the updated talent trees. I didn't do. GM, GM. How'd you sleep? What'd you dream about? What'd you eat for breakfast? Sure, the stream. Maybe that was just what you were watching last night. Sometimes it happens, you know? Sometimes, like, the last thing you do or you watch or whatever comes up and appears in your dreams. So, this may make you feel old because it hurts me to type. <laughs> Listen, I'm still riding the high when I went hiking the other day and went to this beer garden. They ID'd me, okay? So, I'm apparently still but a ute, okay? Oh, that was when we had symbiosis. That would be pretty sick if that came back. Yeah, it's because you're not a Ute, John. Look at my agent apologized. Aw.
Let's get ID because our public health unit is aggressive with making sure people aren't selling shit to miners. Yeah, it kind of just depends on where you where you go in Austin. Some places everybody IDs, or ID some places ID everybody, and then uh, sometimes it's it's random. Also, nobody even picked up on my Ute reference. It was bad, man. Oh, good night. Thank you, Rage. Finally. Was it for you? I mean, come on. It's for everybody. Oh yeah, let me know how Fallout is. Yeah, let me know if there's any good. Maybe we'll watch party that or something. Dang, rip our hunter, man. Eh, I guess we just rip it. He's looking good. Nice. Not gonna lie, the irony of seeing the Shadow Priest die first is not, not lost on me. Also, I got breathed. Running uh, out, just shapeshifts. What? It's healing people. Casting healing abilities. <laughs> oh, really? Does it? Crazy. Oh, trust me, I am letting him die. Better 
fight for their lives. Beg for the heals. Oh, they're getting stronger! Can they be soothed? <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Wouldn't know, because I'm just getting all the kicks, you know? Surely this one goes through, though. Yeah. Uh, is that the soothe button? That is the soothe button. They cannot be soothed. Bit. All right, we're fine. Oh, wait, from back in the day, they didn't want any uh, cookie cutter specs and stuff. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Wishful thinking. How did how did you find the old post so quickly? Because I would also love to uh, dig up old posts. Google? Okay. Wasn't sure if you had some special tech. There's a number of posts like that, though, that I remember over the years. When they talked about how they were gonna add like bonus stamina and BFA, that's one of like my favorite ones. I remember there was a lot of detail given to like why they got rid of vengeance mechanic. That was always an interesting one. The hunter.
Now he turtles. Oof. Poor guy. He's been going through it, this key. Oh, man. Wait, which decision, Armin? What about it, boss? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what decision are you talking about, Armin? Remix, all the things they're doing with season four. I'd love the DF and switch to war within. They're basically saying, if you guys buy our next X pack and wait for it till then. Wait, how long have you been playing WoW? You know, in Mr. Pandaria, Siege of Orgrimmar lasted 14 months. Right? Like, there was, there was no new content for 14 months. This Legion never felt this way? Okay. So, like, Warlords of Draenor had 13 months of Hellfire Citadel. The time between Legion and BFA was, like, 10 months or something like that. There's a whole, like, chart of graphs and everything like that. And so, this raid tier came out in, like, what, November? Question mark? And then we're waiting for, like, an August or September release, but then we're having more new content to keep us busy, at the very least. The way, the way I see it is adding adding more people to a project doesn't make the project faster. There's like diminishing returns. And it seems like Blizzard's hit that point of diminishing returns with adding more bodies to work on like the main World of Warcraft game. So now they have these separate teams to make like other filler content on the side. And then you go from there. My damage? I was healing people so they wouldn't die. Thought it'd be better to single target heal the hunter rather than convoke for extra dam. Like what should should they just not have it like plunder storm? Should they just not have this pandemonium stuff, Armin? I don't understand. See, I convoked. You happy, Ian? <laughs> 
because it just isn't good in pugs. It's better in pre-mades. Um, I feel like it, people just kind of do those things, like, oversimplify it. Like, I don't know. All healing in general is easier when you ha know what damage is going to be happening. I feel like sometimes people just say those things as, like, an excuse to not try or something. I don't know. It's like, yeah, but healing in general, this expansion is always so predictive because it's so bursty. Like, pre-casting a heal when you know it's going to be targeted on somebody is always going to be better. Regardless of which healer that you're playing. Dang. Good night. Oh, basically. Stuns. Wow, holy shit. Just said, please, Hunter, uninstall. We're just like teeing that shit up at the end. Good lord. So, uh, GG's guys. Smile. Just gonna leave the group there. Get Twitter ready again. The mental health for pandemonium gonna get people again. Yeah, people were really pissed off about that last time with Plunderstorm. Sorry I missed your message earlier, bus. Suggestions on a good class for a main? Priest! Something that historically does well. I don't have time for alts. So I need a class that will have some longevity. Priest. Alright, happy to help. <laughs> so one of the potty see this afternoon in my car, and they were talking about bringing back old rays, talking about mop. Absolutely. It's another 18 points. I mean, Hunter did did run it down but i mean we still had like five minutes remaining or something people are wild Which content? Wow, I don't know what I'm gonna do between alpha pushing keys and ten two seven. Yup, it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. Bring back mop with DF talents is meh. I, I don't think it's meh. I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's really good actually. Rehashing old content is what they excel at. I mean, yeah. But it's not like Plunderstorm is rehashed content, to be fair. Yes, they do have, on the one hand, rehashing old content. But also, it makes sense because they're never going to be able to produce new content faster than we can consume it. And they've never been able to do that. 
right? And the pandemonium stuff is, yes, rehash content, but also adding the new things to the equation with, like, the, the gems and runes and whatever, which is off of, like, Season Discovery. So, I don't know. I know, it's very irritating, Stucky. <laughs> it's very irritating. Yeah. Come on, man. That's the thing, is, like, if they've already made all this content and so many people have not experienced it, if people, so many people have not even done MOP at all, it's not really like it's recycling the way that Awaken is recycling stuff that we just did, you know? Yeah, I'm doing this uh, Druid Zero to Hero Adventures. I just have big wigs and details. I've been using stock default UI and everything else. Pugging my way up. Has it already started where people are upsetting spaghetti about pandemonium stuff? All over Wowhead, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and per your comment, Boot, about uh, Wowhead splintering all of their articles and stuff, I definitely agree with that. It's very irritating. Even as a guide writer, trying to find the class changes or trying to find the, um, the other updates... Or like when I'm trying to pull uh, spell IDs and stuff, it's it's pretty irritating. Yeah. Bring back the old tank vengeance mechanic. That would be sick. That'd be sick. I mean, I think in general having some iteration of vengeance would actually be really good. It doesn't need to be the exact same thing. But something new. That's the thing is, like, you could just do the faster leveling experience and it would just be, you know, better than all the other things. It's kind of annoying you have to make a new character for it, but whatever. Yeah, they nerfed Incarnate Icon by 17%. Oof. Shamanese God. Uh, that's what I was kind of trying to tell people for season four, and then people told me I was wrong, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. So I set Kalamazi up. Wait, I got a, I got Kalmazi working on his retirement fund, and I knew he was gonna do this. You ever you ever get somebody into investing, and then the stock market does bad one day? <sighs> He's already sending me profit and loss charts, and he did say it was as a joke, to be fair. But I'm like, I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. It was bad for all three hours. Well, I set him up with the IRA, and I told him in advance. I told him in advance. I'm like, buy VTI, and don't look at it. Yep. Gotta, gotta take care of my boy. I need to get to a point where add-ons are no longer needed to be competitive, and I find add-ons to be an excuse for Blizzard to design their game poorly. You should not need third-party programs to play the game. Yep, plus one. 
Automatic losses. Hell yeah. I try restless. I try to get my sister. She's a financial planner and stuff too. Uh, I was like, yo, when are you setting up your 518 whatever account? There's like a there's a kids college fund account. I forget what it was. Uh, and I tried to get her. I was like, hey, like, you put in ten bucks, I'll put in ten bucks, whatever. She's like, no, no, we'll take care of it. I was like, but, but woman, the compound interest, 529, thank you. I was like, the compound interest over 10 years. She's like, I got it. Five oh nine, whatever it is. Anyway, you can make an account for like your kid's college fund, whatever it is. And then if you just, you know, put in like 10, 20 bucks in, you know, a month for 10, 20 years, you're going to have, you're going to have a whole lot of money there. Yeah. Yeah, CPI numbers were bad, but like, I don't know, shocker. I don't think that the rates are... Like, people were, have been delusioned about rates dropping for a very long time now. They have been smoking something good. Like, oh, yeah, the Fed's going to pivot. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Stock market hit the second all-time high, double top stuff. They're, they're not worried. Super hype as a GM I'm kind of stressed. I already know that we're going to be split between folks that are stoked for it and folks that won't play it. I don't know how I'm going to go about keeping folks around with yet another thing fracturing people's playtime. I do think that's a very fair point. The plus side is that it's like a limited time event. And so it's kind of like, okay, we're going in or we're not going in, right? So I think that's going to be a positive. But I think in general, WoW has gotten increasingly fragmented over the years, and that's not always a positive. I'm kind of the opinion that this is a way to, like, get classic players into retail by, like, segueing them into retail WoW, you know? Because, I mean, at the end of this event, you're going to come out with a max level character. So, I'm, I'm hoping that something like that happens. Because it's also just going to be better in general if... Uh, the base MMO has more gamers. How to get a boosted character to Xerath Mortis. Pretty sure if you go to uh yeah. pretty sure if you go to the capital city you should be able to have like a quest line to take you there. Should be. All right. Mini break will let people relax a little and something else, not burn out before next X pack. You might actually save people from not doing anything, but let people chill in mop remix. Yeah, that's another way they're like still playing WoW for a limited time, and then that is, that is a very good point. It's like, hey, you're still playing WoW, and then you kind of come back later on. Oh, Final Fantasy's UI is not that bad. The healing frames, though. Ooh, having to click on every single frame the entire time. That was pretty rough. What what killed them? What the fuck? 
How do they just die? Alright. Bunch of WoW mains that get grumpy when other people don't play enough. Oh, yeah. Well, they they better be diving balls deep into Moth Classic then. Right? Clicking frames to heal made you quit Final Fantasy. <laughs> Dude, it's it's tough, especially when you're trying to like juggle uh, like card buffs. I love playing Astrologian, but man, trying to flip between those uh, raid frames was really challenging. Yeah, this is just details. Just go to the Mythic Dungeon panel, and there's a setting there. Someone trick that person to ride a mount into the corner and then had the player kick them off, killing them. Wait, if you just dismount somebody in a corner, it kills them? Jeez. The back right corner, huh. Of course, of course I learned this at the end of the season. Damn. <laughs> hmm. All right, team, we ready? So we got super into the gameplay, so not very interested in going to higher end stuff, especially as a healer. I really liked Astro. I just wish that healing in that game had... Hmm. I wish there was more GCD healing required. I didn't like that there was... So much emphasis on, like, don't ever GCD heal if you can help, right? You're gonna be a boomkin main? Yeah. But why? Why don't you ever think about four, doing that? Three, two, one. <laughs> Druids, yeah. Oh, is the boss going to reset? Four, three, two, one. Crit. Let's go, baby. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like it just feels oddly sort of punishing. I did like how competitive gameplay went, though. 
seemed like a huge negative to me that the only way to really like learn an encounter is just to like smash your face into it and die. At least if you're doing like blind prog. There's a lot of things that did not seem like self-explanatory at all. That was not too fun. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, the evoker's running far this time. Puzzle to figure out. It's about trying over and over again to succeed. And more fun in Raid Prog and Final Fantasy than WoW. Hmm. Interesting. I really liked having like dungeon journals. I like having something to prepare for. Yeah, that's the other thing is like there's not really like strats to do the boss fights really. I mean sometimes there is, but from doing what two or three savage raid tiers, it was kinda like you play the boss rather than like like you do what the mechanics tell you to do rather than like building a, a strat. And WoW's kinda gotten that way more with everybody just watching for like what world first guilds do. Sometimes there's actually some key differences, which is fun. 
I really enjoy in like BTR testing where those differences are pretty clear because world first guilds aren't streaming and it's not been optimized or anything like that. We nuked that guy. Yeah, chat decided on it, Dewey. Yeah. Although I think I'm gonna do a Zero to Hero next season featuring Evoker, and so if there's some Evoker names you guys have in mind, wanna get them in early, let me know. All right, so what's everybody's like general point, Blitz, base? I'm like peeking in and out. Game goes from record breaking 12 to 2.6. You've done something wrong? Sure. Or interest change. Or both. Oh my god, don't let me die. Me. Invoke a poke. Hmm. <laughs> Naughty boy. Like, do you guys think Stark? Well, Stark, I kind of did some things wrong, but <laughs> a lot of RTS games in general, like, are just not popular anymore, right? Is that inherently because they did something wrong, or did interest change over time? So. You don't have to tell me about other person, somebody else's point. Just TLDR your own points, right? And there is no misinterpretation. Right? I do have Drakby Kasten. Well, it's got to be an incognito name. Sorry, guys, I should have mentioned. It's got to be an incognito name. If we were gonna do a zero to hero, undercover. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Jack. Hmm. Like what you did there. Oh, 
what's up, Oblivion? Kalmazi here today. I want to talk to you about something to Jack. Oh, shit. That would be awesome. Ask Kalmazi later today about his uh, his investments and stuff. Oblivion, he's on. Slash soon. Ooh, hell yeah. Getting one on Friday. One point the game dropped down to only being twice as large as the next biggest is since Quintuplin subscribers, therefore it's bad and dying. Yeah. That game, Lamau. How can people like doom about WoW these days though? <laughs> like, I hate the people who are. Well, I don't hate them, but you know, I hate it when people have the attitude of like Blizzard can do no wrong and everything, because obviously they can. But there's also not any value in just hardcore dooming it up, especially these days. Fresh character next season. Chat's at my favorite of the racing class. Preferably tank. Or healer. How about both? Bloody K, baby. Alright, Blitz, what's your overall point? Oh, we are just dead. That the game was more popular in the past, and... Waxes and wanes with seasons, or, or what? What am I missing? Does he need to take a serious look at their mistakes and stay of the game and ask themselves is the best we can do? Okay, well, they, they probably probably did that, and then this is what they're doing now. I, I would think, and I don't really know, I don't want to backseat game dev, but I would think that after every expansion they'd kind of do a post-mortem and then be like, Hey, what worked about Shadowlands? What didn't work about Shadowlands? And then they would just make changes accordingly. I don't know. It looks at their mistakes says let's not think about that ever again yeah i mean i would believe that too i'd believe that too Oh, 
Totem's, totem's rezzing. Totem's rezzing. Totem's rezzing. Let's try it again. Okay, they're all dotted. we do it oh my god we did it let's go Later, Oblivion. Ask themselves that question, judge by the new and interesting ideas. Like if they don't seem to be afraid to try things and fail versus putting out the same old stuff. Yep. Like I think it's a fair criticism to say that a lot of Dragonflight has felt very on the rails and very like this is this this is the raid this is the m plus you know but then revamping gearing revamping talents and then like you said trying out the new game modes that actually feels super encouraging right feels like the imagination happened a lot later in this expansion compared to like early on in expansions where i feel like we've seen it in the past but it did show up you know Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? What's happening? Did Tank get a blessing of protection? Wait, how is he a troll? Am I seeing that right? Night Elf player. There we go. Did he shadow melt? No bop, yeah, you're right. Uh I guess he shadow melted? What uh what do you think what are you thinking, tanking? What happened? Yeah, uh, let's see. Major Joe died in pool bad. He got meleeed. I got meleeed. He stood in a pool of bad. Well, he was also resident, so it makes sense. All right, eight minutes, last boss. It was, somehow I hit it. Uh, sad, sad.
Help us, tank! Help! That was not quite the help I was expecting. Kill them! Come on, tank, move them! No! Your blood is I will put your blood to womp, womp. All right, five minutes. We still got this. No longer need. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Where is this person? Come come back, please. I think my tank is in a hypermobile DH, D I know, right? Woo! Hey, Cecile, thank you for the two years. Much love, much love. What are we even lost on? Ooh, I did not mean to deploy all the boys at once. It's okay, though. Yeah, Gwyn, thank you so much for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. All right, we did it. At least that part.
my god, that was horrifying. Come on, magician. Oh, no. Tank, please move more. Oh my God. Please move some more. Oh, easy game. Let's go. 2968. Not even close. Not even close. Woo! Yeah, I'm a druid, duh. Let's go. Let's grow. All right. I find let's grow from a druid really funny. See? He. See? See? That's right. He enjoyed it too. He enjoyed the joke too. I am uh, doing my own talent setup and everything like that. Yep. I'm just doing my own talent setup. I think it's like mostly meta stuff. I think it's pretty close. The easiest key with an organized group and a tank that knows how to kite and the hardest of pugs? Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Thank you, Quinn. Yeah. You just don't get it? That's the thing. I don't get it either, man. I've gotten better at hitting Adapted Swarm all the time. I was actually kind of slacking pretty heavily there. Previously. somehow got to 23s with default talent something is seriously wrong with you as a new player <laughs> or something's i mean maybe it's just so easy for them you know ever thought, thought about that ever thought about that Wait, the reason absolutely brick everything from there? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, man. All right, gamers. I'm going to chill for the night. Uh, probably have a short-ish stream tomorrow for Thursday. And then we'll have a really long stream on Friday to go over and test and experiment. Figure out what the heck is going on with the pandemonium stuff. All right? Super excited about it. If you haven't checked out the YouTube already, we have a video going over how all the healers feel for Season 4. We just had a little bit of trinket tuning today, and assuming we get some more, I'll have a video before Season 4 that'll go over all the like recommended dinar purchases, what you want to target first, depending on what kind of content you're doing. All that fun stuff. We'll have that out uh, before the season comes out. But yeah, lots to do. Lots and lots to do. Let me see who's streamed before we head off for the night. Say how to salute. He's doing some gaming. All right, gamers. Go say how to salute. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be slamming a little bit more of the rest of Druid Adventures and try to get to 3K. Make the big jump. Have a good night, guys.